Hey, what's going on guys? It's Matt back again with Antidote Outdoors. And uh, today I'm going to show you how to install a roof rack. Um, we're not going to lie, this is not the easiest process and we always suggest that you get this done by a professional mechanic. That being said though, I'm going to skip around and kind of try to show you the best way to get this going. Now one of the first pieces you're going to want to work with is going to be your bracket that puts it to the car that hinges around your frame here. One thing to note that is every car is a little bit different and even though this is a universal roof rack you are going to have to make some adjustments to it. So first things first, this is how your bracket's going to start out. That being said, that slight bend to it is what we've done to make it fit on our Prius. Now all you got to do there is this first one. See how it sits kind of straight up like that? That is not going to allow your roof rack to actually get a good hold on your car, which of course that's the entire point. And you can tell because it won't sit flat. As you can see, you have some uh, discrepancy here between the rubber and your roof. Whereas, you take one that is made, that has been tweaked to your roof's exact bend, and as you can see, it's gonna lay nice and flat. This one's become a little less done, but it is there. So, one other thing to note while you're framing these to your car is that you need to be sure the distance between your door frame uh, is same on both sides. You want this to be a very straight process. Now, to get in nice and personal here, one thing to note is you do want this bracket to get past the rubber part. If it's still stuck under here too far, Whenever you go to tighten all of that down, this center piece here has the ability to snap if it's not overlapping. So be sure that this arm gets all the way through. Now once you get that arm all the way through, you're going to take your screw pin here. You're going to start it from the back side. Let that start going in and we, we have a key that comes with that. For time's sake, I'm going to go ahead and use this bad boy though. Now, once you've screwed it far enough through, you're going to see that the tip of your screw, your bolt, is actually going to poke through the other side. Now, the way this works is we're going to be creating tension from both sides of the car. Once this is here, your bolt that you just installed is going to start creating pressure to push it one direction. Once you get the other one on the other side, it's going to work to work against each other here. Pretty easy and awesome. Next step is going to be to actually make sure that this wing that uh, goes on top fits on your bracket. Now, there is a bit of a sweet spot with these two bolts up here. You're gonna wanna start with the same plug, same hex key, should fit right in here as well. Your fin, or your fin, your roof rack is gonna slide in here. We suggest taking everything off, doing this on the ground separately. Now once that slides, there's going to be a sweet spot for this little tab right here. Flipping that tab is what's going to pull down and secure it onto this. Now when you're doing this off of the car, smart thing to do is try to wiggle it. If this tab doesn't close securely and easily, then your bolt on top, you need to loosen up this bolt. If it goes on too loose and you can still move it around whenever it's sitting on the ground, then you need to tighten it down. And that's that sweet spot that we're talking about. So you're gonna take these off, get everything put on so that you know it's not gonna move. You should have a roof rack that's ready to be reinstalled. Yet again, once you know this is tight and exactly where you want it to be, you're gonna take it back off. And this is where we're gonna start working on final installation. Again, you're going to want to make sure that you are the exact same distance on both sides from your door jam. Pow. Now, I've got my other side already installed. I'm going to slide this bad boy right on in. Now this is the point where you're gonna flip this little switch that we had talked about that's in its golden spot there. 
and then we're going to tighten it down. And again, what this is going to do is we're going to start pulling from both sides. You're going to feel that get nice and snug. Install the end cap. You're going to lock it in so nobody can jack it. Both sides can. You're ready to paddleboard.